as we move the dot up the line and work out delta 2 of f at each point, a line of constant height is swept out on the lower axis. So differencing a linear function gives us a constant function. Now we'll see how delta h operates on a quadratic function. We'll take h equals 1. If we work out delta 1 of f at x equals 0, we get delta 1 of f equals 1. Now, if we take a point further around the curve, say at x equals 3, we find delta 1 of f has a different value, 7. So this value here is smaller than the value at the steeper part of the curve. In fact, the value increases like this. So differencing a quadratic gives us a linear function. Now let's see what happens if we difference a few other functions. Let's look at a more wiggly one. We'll take the sine curve. Take h equals 1 and see what happens. the amplitude of the wave has changed and the function has shifted slightly.